All right, so she's charged up now. Puts on the brake. I just turned it on. Van's all the way on and you're good. Then what you do is you press this master power button and it lights up blue. And then you come to this screen and that lights up and you hit accept. And now you can turn on the lights. You can turn on the AC from the front. You just turn on the lights. This lowers that part right there so you can see everything on the back. You can change your temperature so you can get the AC going. You can get the music going for them. You can change things back there in the lighting modes. So this is kind of like a little uh, mini computer up front for the driver. As long as that master power is on, all the stuff in the back is going to be able to be on. Let's go to the back real quick. And the van's clean, man. No, no damage on her. She's got a little bit of some, you know, stuff that's going to buff out. It's already coming out. She's got that kind of stuff, and you know, some dirt on her, but. The van's very clean. You can still see the studs on his tires. So it's definitely something nice. It's definitely very nice. The biggest thing I can tell you with these vans is these electronic doors. These things are a pain in the ass, especially if you get people in here that are impatient. Biggest thing I can tell you, just one touch of that little button right there is all they need to do. And the van will do it all for themselves, right? When they want to open it, they literally just touch the button and let it do its thing. So that's one easy way to, to tell people. Hold down this button if they do plan to use it until it closes completely. And that's an easy way to eliminate a lot of the problems that that door can create for you because people just touch the button too many times and then the van's door gets confused. That emergency exit, this is a nice thing to have. This is gonna be one of your main computer screens here. This is where you're gonna be able to see all of the additional controls of the van with all the shade powers and everything like that. So when you press it, it all powers down. Sometimes these shades can get off track a little bit, but at the end of the day, you just let us know and we can get it in here and get it taken care of because we are a service center for these vans. And that's another thing too that comes with, oh, looks like they got a cord sticking out here. These are for the lights that are up underneath here. And they, sometimes they come down. Just the small little quirks of having a van that you'll have to kind of get used to with these things. But other than that, they, you know, minus these little tiny things that end up happening, like these cords that come down or something like that. Or maybe one day one of these lights will be out or maybe this vent doesn't blow air. Those tiny little quirks are what cause people to want to get rid of these things so fast because they don't have a place to take them to. Um, so having that service center like us here local is a really, it, I can't tell you how important that is. And obviously if you don't buy a van from us, then we don't help you and get a service. So it all comes full circle as you get into this part of this world. These are your heated seats. They just twist on. They only do heated seats. Unfortunately, that's just, it is what it is. There are no cooled seats on these until you get into 2024s. So here you can change your lights. You can have all accents or find lights off, dim lights on, accent lights on, reading lights. So you can really, and the master on button is your center lights right here in the middle. That's this button right here. So as you can see, they can become very in-depth. Um, you're going to have trays right here, right here. And then I have one right here as well. Oh, nope. Sorry, this one isn't, isn't going to have one. It's just going to have a, cop, a cub hole, a, a cubby hole for you. Sorry. 
little bit of design stuff there. And it all is entry level JL sound system. It's gonna be like that across the board on all of these, but they still sound great. I'll show you how this works. So this is gonna, this one right here is gonna have the option to do the incline and recline for the sofa. So there's your recline. There you go. It'll go lower, you just gotta take those headrests off. Because it'll go flat. And then these guys work with this. There's a little bit of a button right here that opens those. Now you can see why you can only have one leg extender in these. And again, this is the largest van you can have. So you can only get one or two captain chairs that have those leg extenders. And then this is a manual release for your recline. Just a cool setup. Very nice, very clean. And again, brother, if you decide to do the other one, it's all good. I just wanted to help you out and get you a video. Let me know what you think. And... Uh, We'll go from here. Talk soon.